Hi, my name's John. Welcome to another Sunday Night Nightcap. As usual, this nightcap contains lots of machining and a little bit of plasma cutting. I actually do a job for my wife, Deb. Believe it or not, we've had her number on the door for <laughs> a long time now since we had a, a little porch built. And she did say she would like us to say and say a number with some sort of logo. Now, we we'll both thought long and hard as to what we've both got in common and basically the only thing is we we'll both like fish and chips. So I do a fish with a number in and I get that mounted on the door, at least I will mount it on the door. I think possibly having so little in common is why we've we'll stayed married for 40 years. Anyway, I hope you find it interesting. I do a job on the milling machine which gives us a chance to use the little stepper motor and control unit that my friend Rob from Extreme Plasma built for us. If anybody's interested in purchasing one of these, I'll ask Rob to price it up and put a link onto his Extreme CNC page. There's quite a few names come in for the, the monthly draw. If you haven't sent your name in, all I need you to do is send us an email. That's my email address up there and all I need is your full name like John Mills, not just John. Your name was in at the boat and I've got some fantastic prizes for next month's draw. The tea slot scrape as I've done very well. I've sold quite a few of them. There's still a few left, so if you want one, all you've got to do is put that number up there into an EBS search and it'll bring them up. They're actually that size. There's some of your meal coming this week. It's actually a book, a book about steam trains from a guy called Joe Rogers. It's come all the way from the States. I've started to read it. I do like books. I'll show you a close-up of this. There's some fantastic pictures in it. It's also got a, a piece of paper in there which is signed by the author. Um, nice book. Thanks very much. I've got a fairly simple job to do here, in fact I've got four of these to do. Uh, all you want is to do is threads boring out of there so that the bush will drop through. The problem I've got is mounting it. Um, unfortunately it's too wide. I can't put a, a table on each side of the, the thing, the table's not wide enough. What I could do is put a couple of bolts on there and then something on this end, something on there as well. It needs to be held quite tight. Uh, obviously you don't want it to move the idea is to put a big drill through there and then use a boring head on it which will give us a chance to use my new power feed it's box section it's not really flat it's it's just what it is I'll put a couple of clamps on here and see what how it performs, see exactly what happens to it. I'm sure I'll be able to find some way of doing it. Right, I've got a reasonable hold of it. I've got one right on the very end, and I've got these two which are pushing down in the centre. And I've used these two engineers jacks just to as a pressure point for those two. These are given to me by a retired engineer. I actually got four and I gave two away to a friend who sadly is no longer here so we've got quite a good grip on there I'm going to put this underneath that part and then two more on there just to make sure this is quite a clever adjustable wedge basically I got it years ago I'm not sure where from but part of it was missing and I did a video on repairing it right so that goes into there and we'll see if we can get two more clamps on the corners and then we'll open the hole up.
it will probably be alright the way it is there because it has got a good hole but I just want to make double sure it doesn't move I'm going to use this drill just to take the threads out and then bore it from there So now we've got a nice clean hole. I actually offset the, the drill to this side of the hole to take the meat out of that part. I mean there's still going to be plenty of material left there but the more material left there the better. So that's all ready now for the boring head to go through. And we can use the new power feed, see how that performs. I think that's about 4mm to come out of there, 4mm per side. I've got the boring head set up, I've got the power feed wired up. I still haven't made a box or an enclosure for the electronics, but I have got it coupled up so I can't use it. I'll bring the camera a little bit closer. I set the boring tool so it's just touching the hole and what I'm going to do is offset the hole that way by 2.5mm which will leave plenty of meat on that end of the leg. There'll be plenty anyway but I might as well offset it, it's easy enough to do. So we'll do that now, we'll wind it 25 mil mm that way and then put a cut through it. I did have a, another support runner there, I found I didn't need it. Right, so I want to go that way, 2.5mm, which is there. Lock everything up.
at the minute it's obviously done in an interrupted cut, it's only cutting on one side. Once we get out the side it'll be cutting all the way around. So once it's through, I've just disconnected the clutch, pull it back out. I can leave the far feed running with the clutch disconnected. Put another like, cut on. Back in with the power feed. We're just cutting round now, it's actually touching all the way around. Just about fun his hair off, touching all the way around. Put a really nice finish in there. Nice, just what we wanted. Just now I can run the power feed on the drill. Making nice curly chips, nice happy chips. <laughs> You've got a f***ing joke in body lad. Eh? <laughs> Where are you man, Johnny?